We talked, uh, I think it was week three, about TACCOM. Okay, TACCOM is what? Come on, you guys taking use of force. TACCOM is your speaking, giving him direction. Okay, we're also talking about proxemics and what it was, is proxemics. That was on the test, right? All right. Anybody hey, turn around? Put your hands on the wall. Okay, step back, half step. Okay, we want the inmate in this position for two reasons. One, they're at a position of disadvantage, right? They're not able to move too quickly. Off the, they're gonna come off the wall, he's gonna push back, we're gonna feel it. And the other one is, we're gonna move in, so we don't want him to know where we're coming in from. I don't care what side you start from, okay? Um, when you, you come in, it says come in from one and a half. It's very important for you to come in, take your time, and, and be systematic in your search, okay? You may, okay, turn around. So when he's in this position, you'll notice on your, okay, I, I just had him go like that so you guys can see where we want him to stand, okay? Most of the inmates are always going to be wearing coveralls, okay? The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the inmate is, has emptied everything that's in his pockets, okay? We also want him to kick off his shoes when he's in this position, okay? The reason is the shoes are gonna be probably where he's hiding stuff, and the pockets are going to be where he's hiding stuff. So, hey mate, take your shoes off. You don't need to take them off. That's your target. Okay. Empty your pockets. Put anything you have in your pockets over there. Okay. Just to get your tongue. Okay. <laughs> Wipe your hands through your hair. Okay. Find your ears. Okay. okay. Turn around. Put your hands on the wall. Okay. Take a step back. Again, now we've got him in the position of disadvantage. Okay, okay, I'm going to come in and search you. Don't move. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So you come in and you plant. Okay, you want to be here. Okay, so your foot is just inside his foot or her foot, and this does two things. Okay, once you come here, you're making contact, so the individual knows you're there. The second one is when you're coming in. Okay, if the inmate starts to tense up, we're going to feel it. In your hand and your arm okay if they decide to act up we can very quickly protect ourselves and we can push on the knee and step back so most of the time the inmates are not going to do anything if they're going to act up we're going to feel it right away and we'll give them our using our tag calm we'll say relax okay, put your hands down a little bit because i can't reach that way <laughs> okay i'm going to search you do you understand yes sir okay, don't move so keeping your hand here Okay, the reason we want our hands here is we're going to protect in case he decides to, to throw an elbow at us. So our hand is up this way, you come in, you check his hands, and then you start coming down his arm. We're crimping, okay? Never slide your hand because if there's a sharp in there, you're going to be cutting yourself. So you're crimping, okay? And you're always watching the offender. When we get here, we're going to do the same across here. We get to the belt, sorry, it's ticklish, okay? We're gonna do here. Now, when we get to this point, we're gonna do the back, okay? And if I'm doing the back, I wanna make sure that I'm locking out his arm. So we never lose contact with the offender. So, we're checking here, okay? Don't move. Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna check this side of his lower body. Because I'm on this side, it makes sense for me to finish this side. So I've checked all of his belt line, okay? Now that's one of the hiding spots they're going to do. And that's why males search males, females can search males and females, okay? So when I'm coming down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my hands like this, and I'm going to landmark, okay? You can go up as high as you feel comfortable with, okay? Big guy like this, don't start at his knees. He's pretty big. So you want a landmark, and again, when you're searching and you're crimping, okay, you're watching everything he's doing. Don't move, and then you're gonna come over to his other foot. Same thing, okay, lock out his arm, and we're gonna repeat the process on this side, okay? So you check everything that you've missed, 
You should have gotten both three pass. You can take pleasure, aren't you? <laughs> this is why I never want to go to jail. This is awkward. <laughs> this, this is, this is reason number one. Well, the scripture church was next. <laughs> so, you're crimping all along. Okay? You should have been able to get about three quarters of the front torso. Now you've only got to do the one quarter. Okay? Same sort of thing. You're going to do the back. You're going to do, do his belt area. When you get here, you're going to landmark. <laughs> Okay, and you check here. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is okay, stand up. Yes, straight. sir. I didn't tell you to turn around. Sorry, sir. Okay, hand me your shoes. And then you're going to check his shoes. Okay, so you're going to check the bottom of his feet. I'm going to tell you right now, I hate feet. So I didn't check the bottom of his feet. So you're not going to bend down and pick up his shoes. Okay, hand me your shoes. And you're watching him, you're in here, you're looking. Okay, never take your hand <laughs> and shove it inside a boot. You don't know what's in there. Okay, when you feel it's good, hand it back. Okay, hand the next one. Okay, where you go. All right, so 